Today is the day that I get to hit the secret weapon that I have been searching for quite a while. Let's go and play with it. out there this is essentially the Tony Hawk's gravity cheat code for golf guys how you doing welcome back to a brand new video Simon down here at the wonderful Sanford Springs Golf Club and I've got one club in the bag to play some holes with I think if I was given one particular club to play a whole 18 holes with it would probably be this one okay maybe except bunkers but apart from that i think this packs it all especially for you big hitters like myself that struggle around narrow golf courses so we're up here on the woods at sanford springs and if you've ever played the woods before you will know very well it's not about distance it's all about position 200 yards is the goal around this nine if you put 200 yards pretty much on every par four here down the middle you will be in a great positional play to make birdies, pars, you name it. And to be perfectly honest, even for you guys that are just starting the game, having a particular club in the bag that just has 200 yards, but is a 90% success rate. So whether that is your five iron or five wood, your driver, 200 yards is the goal. If you want to get down to 18, down to 16, 17, you need a particular 200 yard club. There will be a lot of you guys watching this that can hit the driver 260 yards, but you're struggling to break 90. And it's because you haven't got that go-to 200 yard club that just gets you in play. Quick interval before the rest of the video. I forgot to mention, I put a link in the description of my new teaching diary. I haven't had one and I'm 30 years of age and I've been working on Instagram, Facebook, that mail post and it's a complete disaster and I need to grow up. It's all in one place. I've put some limited times available for you guys to have a look at. If you're local, Newbury Thatcher, that is exactly where I am. And you've got my sole attention for an hour, whether it's golf coaching, long drive, secondhand clubs, you name it, that is the place. And you don't have to pay in advance, you can pay on the day. And I've put some limited time slots available for the guys that have been existing coaching, just text me. But that is the place going forward. Back into the video. So boys and girls, we've just finished the first First par five here at Sanford with my secret weapon and I've been trying to get hold of one of these one length hybrids for a very long time shout out to Joe sold me a few clubs on the weekend really nice gentleman and he had this one length hybrid in the set and I did actually get the whole set of rad speed one length but it's only the hybrid that I was particularly interested in because I've never actually tested this on the channel I've hit my friend's one length hybrid once and I loved the feeling of it if you ever saw my review on the one length irons um, from Cobra whether it's the F7s F8 F9 whatever any one length iron set from Cobra, I am in love with the four iron, I'm in love with the five iron, I'm in love with the six iron, but it's always the bottom end of the bag. For myself, because I've been playing this game for 11 years, I just can't get on with, I need a wedge to be a wedge length. However, what really intrigues me is when you get a hybrid or a wood, this is a three rescue one length club, and this thing just feels like a kid's toy but goes a manly distance. So I want to paint the best picture possible when it comes to the one length hybrid. If you've ever taught juniors, which won't be a lot of you, but if you've ever taught your son, your daughter, your grandson, your niece, nephew, and got a hold of their club, their driver, you hit that thing so straight. You're looking at it going, why does this keep going straight? Why does I, why do I feel like I've got so much control? Now it doesn't go anywhere. It's incredibly lofted up and the shaft's very whippy and let's be honest, it hasn't got the best materials, but you just keep finding the middle of the driving range. And the easiest way I can sum up this club when I'm holding it and hitting it, it's an extremely expensive slash technologically advanced junior club that's designed for an adult. Now I do want to talk about the pros and cons of a one length hybrid. I'm not saying go and get the rad speed one, but even an F7 or F8 or F9, I mean, it's all the same technology. And the funniest thing, this club isn't designed to be the longest hybrid in the world. It's to give you that sense of control while standing over the club face. And one thing I want to distinguish today, it's just a placebo effect. I stand over it, I feel incredibly in control. Essentially, it just feels like I'm hitting a wedge. Therefore, the confidence level is through the roof and I can do anything anything I want with this club and not miss a fairway. 
However, after I play it with a month or two months and three months, does that placebo effect wear off and all of a sudden it's just like every other club in the bag that potentially has the tendencies to wander off the fairway more because of the mental side of my game rather than my technical flaws. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments that I potentially try these one length clubs, had a great session of three months, four months, five months, and then slowly after time found out that I had the exact same problems with the one length as I did with all the other iron sets that I had through the years. Now the one length hybrid is designed to filter into the rest of the iron set and I'm in love with the higher end of the clubs because I just feel ultimate control. But just like the lower end of the bag, I had lack of control. Hitting a pitching wedge or a sand wedge, seven iron length, I was hitting them 140, 150 yards and I had zero control. And for someone that's been used to playing a wedge game at standard length, it just wasn't for me. So therefore, would this be the same at the top end? Yes, the one length hybrid is lovely but does that mean that would be the only wood i'd end up hitting throughout a round i'm hitting this 220 230 comfortably in the winter potentially 240 plus in the summer but would i then be too hesitant too scared to go up any for any further the three wood the driver for the extra 40 50 yards they'd give me do i really want to risk that wayward shot and therefore succumb me to being a lot more of a passive player and a lot less aggressive. If there was ever a hole Cobra designed this club for, it's this one down at Sanford, the 15th, 340, all uphill, slight dog leg, and you need to position a lovely shot 200 to 220 yards between the bunkers and the trees. For you big hitters out there, this is essentially the Tony Hawk's gravity cheat code for golf. Even with that horrendous, strike so much out the hill it still found the middle of the fairway and yes it could be down to the psychological side but that's all this game is when you get to a decent level and you're hitting the ball a long way you need to be confident you need to be reassured that that ball is going to go down the middle of the fairway now let's put the one length hybrid on hold for a minute because it's only going to fit a particular type of player especially the one that hits it a long way and just needs a bit of a tighter dispersion what i want to talk about is the 200 yard play the 200 yard goal for any golfer if you want to break 18 200 yards consistently off the tee is the place to be and it doesn't matter what club it is you need a stock shot and i want you guys to start practicing especially the ones i started the last year or two years this 200 yard stock shot a lot of you guys will go to the range and spend 80% of your time hitting the big stick when, let's be honest, around an amateur golf course, you're going to use it 10 times because the majority of par fours are only 300 yards long and you're scared to death to get the big stick out and you're hitting six irons, five irons, four irons with not much of a plan. I want you to divide your practice time up specifically for the amount of time you will be using it on the golf course. So it makes no sense to spend 80% of your practice time on a club that you're hardly gonna use 15% in your entire round. My closing thoughts on the one length hybrid is I have incredible confidence standing on pretty much any tee box with this club and not really thinking about where the bad shots are going to be. Now, does that say more about my mental state of the game or the actual club itself? Any player that plays incredibly well and it feels very comfortable in their golf game very rarely thinks about the bad shots, doesn't think about the water, doesn't think about the bunkers. And for a lot of you guys that have been played 10, 15 years, how many of you actually think about going in the bunker anymore? Whereas the beginner golfer, that's all what they're terrified about because they can't get out of bunkers. And if you're scared to death of bunkers, trust me, you're going to be going in a lot of them as your brain only associates with the object itself and not the don't. Don't think about the purple elephant. Guess what you thought of the purple elephant. So I love the feeling of it. I love the control that I have with it. And it'd be incredibly interesting if they were to design a three wood, dare I say a mini driver of it. Because again, if I actually had something that did 250, 260, this consistently, well, I wouldn't bother putting any other club in the top end of the bag. That being said, that's an incredibly boring game to play. And I really should just be working on my overall technique, practicing, lessons, you name it, to use the equipment that's designed to hit it further and not just be so lazy. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, as I said, online coaching diary is now available. So if you wanna go and check out those limited spaces, please do. Catch you guys in a bit.